In this video, we will learn the first fundamental theorem of calculus uh, and we will also learn its proof. The first fundamental theorem of calculus has another name, it is called integrating derivative. Now, the statement of first fundamental theorem of calculus is so the statement let the function let the function f which is defined on the bounded interval a b and it goes to r is continuous continuous on the bounded interval a b and differentiable differentiable on the open interval a b and third condition the derivative the derivative f prime of x is continuous and bounded on a b then the conclusion is so then integration of from a to b a prime of x dx would be f of b minus f of a so this is the first fundamental theorem of calculus and now we will learn its proof to prove that what we will do we will consider consider a partition partition p of a b where p is a equals to x 0 less than x 1 less than x i minus 1 less than x i is then x n which is b so we consider this partition uh, graphically you can think this way so this is suppose graph of a prime of x so our lower limit is a and upper limit is b so lower limit is a upper limit is b and this a is x0 and this b is xn and we consider partition this is x1 then x2 then it's going on suppose this is x i minus 1 and this is x i and it's keep going so we consider this is i minus 1 x i minus 1 and this is x i okay. so we are considering this strip now take any point c i take c i on the interval x i minus 1 x i so we take c i here suppose this is c i now on that interval infimum of a prime of x where x is on the interval x i minus 1 
x i is less or equals to f prime of c i less or equals to supremum of f prime of x where this x is x i minus 1 to x i. So this inequality is definitely true because infimum is definitely less than a prime of c i because c i is on this interval and supremum of a prime of x. Now what we will do, we will multiply the whole inequality by x i minus x i minus 1 we will multiply x i x i minus 1 x i x i minus 1 and then we will take summation so i equals to 1 to n summation of i equals to 1 to n summation of i equals to 1 to n now by the definition of lower Riemann sum this is the lower Riemann sum so it can be written as lower Riemann sum f prime comma p and here if we apply the mean value theorem then it becomes summation of i equals to 1 to n f prime of x i minus f prime of x i minus 1. So we apply mean value theorem here. So to comes from this step to here we applied the mean value theorem mean value theorem and here by the definition of upper Riemann sum this one is u f prime of p now it can be written as f prime of p less or equals to now when i equals to 1, this one becomes f prime of x1 minus f prime of x0 and x0 is a, so f prime of a and when i is 2, then it becomes f prime of x of 2 minus f prime of x of 1. So this x1 and previous x1 will cancel and when i equals to m, this one becomes f prime of xm minus a prime of x n minus 1 and x n is b so if you simplify it would be f of b minus f of a less or equals to upper remain sum now since the function a prime is integrable that means lower remain sum, sum and upper Riemann sum is same that means they are equal so since this one is less than upper Riemann sum and more than lower Riemann sum and this one equals to that one so we can write integration of integration of a to b a prime of x dx equals to f of b minus f of a okay because this one equals to this one on and that one so this is the proof of first fundamental theorem of calculus thanks for watching